Everybody likes to talk about economic depression happening, but nobody wants to talk about the mental depression that's happening. Look at the Juno Awards as an example. What if I run away? demonic show that happened is absolutely just insane that people even watch that shit and uh, some people even do positive comments what's causing this mental depression that's happening is it the immorality what's causing the societal breakdown Numbers coming from a new report from the Ontario Drug Policy Research Network showing the tremendous toll opioids are taking on the province's youth. The report found that there were 752 deaths among adolescents and young adults between 2014 and 2021, a tripling. Over the same period, 711 young people were hospitalized, with more than 5,400 ending up in the ER. Schools are being taught this immoral agenda a family can be made up in many different ways it's called soji for sexual orientation and gender identification a curriculum that teaches public school students across canada to celebrate the homosexual lifestyle and that gender is fluid in other words your gender is not dependent on what parts you were born with but rather what you feel like in the moment there's people that are boys there's people that are girls there are people there are people whose gender might be a little bit of both or might even be neither lessons include books about transgender children such as 10,000 dresses and songs like the rainbow song gender won't decide the choices we make some boys like dressing up some girls like catching snakes the curriculum in schools are being pushed with this immoral agenda in Canada we have mental depression one in three Canadians or 30 percent or more of the population is in depression anxiety this is happening because the Canadian society the people in Canada are being pushed into a lifestyle that is not natural for people it's not natural for a kid to grow up being told that they can be male or female or their gender is fluid they can choose what they want to be the numbers are pretty stark as we enter the third year of the pandemic it's clear canadians continue to struggle with their mental health a new study indicates one in three Canadians are experiencing increased levels of exhaustion, frustration, and anxiety as part of their daily lives. Some LGBTQ go so far as to say you don't even possess your kids because the kids have more rights than the parents do. That's why I'm telling you guys, you don't own anything. You don't even own, hey, come on, come back here. You don't even own your kids. You don't even own your home to begin with. If you watch some of the videos, which I'm gonna put some links here, you don't even have ownership of your houses. And some of you will say, well, no, we do. No, you don't. You will pay as much as they put as far as property taxes go. And every year they will add as much as they want and you will pay for it. And the bureaucrats that sit in the city offices, they make over hundred thousand dollars for pretty much pressing a button all day those are the people that you will pay as far as property taxes goes you don't own your house you don't own your kids and this is all happening because the government has decided that you don't own your kid the government has decided that some LGBTQ activist has more right to teach your kid what morality is 
what their gender is than you do at your home. This is how crazy and insane this society has become. Let's talk about the drug epidemic that's gripping all across Canada. With cities like Lethbridge and all other cities are gripped in violent drug epidemic. So when I walk my dog, I have to watch in some places in Saskatoon, there are places that I don't walk her because I don't want needles to go in her paws. Come back here. So drug epidemic is so prevalent now in Canada that obviously we know we have injection sites now, free injection for people and drug addicts that want to go and do free heroin or whatever drugs. This is being financed by the government. So in Canada, we have a system, we have a government that's financing immorality, you know words. This government and all these institutions are financing drugs, which is absolutely devastating the younger population. Obviously, weed is legal. I remember a time when weed was illegal in Canada and it was actually hard to get weed. You had to know a dealer to go get weed. Now, you can go get weed wherever, whenever. At every corner, there is a weed store. So we have drug epidemic, we have mental disorder, Oh yeah, and on top of this, let me not forget, if you want to just end your life because you might be homeless, well, you can go and execute yourself. Imagine choosing death over homelessness. That's what one St. Catharines man is contemplating. Tonight on City News, we continue to delve into medically assisted dying and how some believe it is their only option to living in poverty. Are you afraid to die? Who isn't? Yeah, it, 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 uh... Amir Farsoud has applied for medically assisted dying, known as MAID. He lives in constant agony due to a back injury, but has started the process for end of life because his rooming house is up for sale and he can't find anywhere else to live that he can afford. He barely survives on Ontario disability support payments, which are just over $1,200 a month. He doesn't want to die, but being homeless is not an option. I know in my present health condition, I would survive it anyway. Farsud meets the criteria for MAID, physical suffering due to disability that cannot be relieved.